In this clip, we'll learn some important keyboard shortcuts to remember when working here inside of Mari. Okay, great. Again, I'm working with our little bare bones project that we've set up a few clips back. I wanted to talk to you in this clip a little bit about navigation and keyboard shortcuts. Now, navigation inside of Mari is actually fairly simple for Maya artists. It's actually very similar to what we're already used to when it comes to navigating Mari's canvas. So again, most of the controls are going to center around the Alt key that we use all day long. So if we hold down the Alt key and left click, we're going to orbit around. The Alt key and the right mouse button is going to zoom in and out. And the Alt key with the middle mouse button is going to pan. So those are the basic navigation controls. Very similar to Maya, right? Almost exactly what, the way that works inside of Maya. Now I want to show you one other one that doesn't work in Maya, but I use it quite often here inside of Mari. And that's uh, not only orbiting, panning, and zooming in and out with our camera, but also rotating the camera. Rotating the camera can be done by holding Control and R on the keyboard. And as soon as I left mouse click and begin to drag, you can see here how my camera is rotating. This is very, very useful. This can be used not only inside of the orthographic view, but also over here inside of our UV view. You can see here the same navigation controls work over here. And we can use that same rotation. Okay, fantastic. Now, in looking at our different views here, obviously we have our UV, our ortho, our ortho slash UV, which is a hybrid between the two views, and then a perspective view, which applies perspective to our camera. Typically, I don't use this one at all unless it's just to preview my textures with perspective. But in looking at what we're seeing inside of our orthographic camera on the canvas, there's probably a couple things that you're noticing that aren't visible or are missing from this video. One being a grid and two being a large bit of information that is probably floating up here inside of your copy of Mari. Well, I'm going to come in here and show you how to turn those back on. I've just gotten accustomed to turning these off because I prefer to free up the canvas of any kind of visual clutter when I'm painting textures. Personal preference. I'll come in and right click on my canvas and open my display properties and let's go ahead and turn on the grid by marking visible and let's go ahead and turn on the HUD or heads up display by checking that box. Great. So obviously the grid is just that, it's a grid, but the important piece to take away from this here is this heads up display. Now this heads up display shows a tremendous amount of valuable information about your project in its current state. Now we can see here my current color space is automatic sRGB. The selected patches are zero, but we can come in here and select a patch and you can see here how that number changes. The current layer path. Now this is information that relates to the object inside of our objects palette the channel name and the layer name. Now we haven't really gotten into channels or layers yet, but we will in the next module. So below that we have our current channel path. And again, names that are reminiscent of what we just looked at and the current shader, which is current channel. We haven't actually created a shader yet inside this project. So the current object and the current tool. Notice there's a letter in parentheses next to the select tool's name. That is the keyboard shortcut used to access that tool. Now this is a very useful keyboard shortcut, especially when you're using another tool. Let me switch to my paintbrush here. And if I tap the S key and release it, you can see that nothing happened. Let's do it again. Nothing happened. So the way to use this is to hold down the S key while you're using that other tool to momentarily swap to that select tool. So I can come in here and I can select each of those pieces of geometry or those patches and I can release and I'm back to my paintbrush. So this is very, very useful for painting and switching geometry uh, on the fly. Now, when it comes to the tool help line of the heads up display, this is where 
as a new Mari user, the heads up display will be your best friend because this shows a lot of relevant keyboard shortcuts that have to do with the tool that you currently have selected. So with the select tool selected, you can see I can do things like select all with control A, select none with control E, I can add to selection, I can remove from selection, and this is basically a new Mari user's best friend right here because this particular line will change based on the tool that you have selected. You'll notice here. Some of these tools have a large number of keyboard shortcuts to work with. The brush tool has some basic ones that as a new Mari user may be difficult to remember. You'll get these memorized eventually though. They will just begin to come naturally. So things like holding down the R key and clicking with your left mouse button and dragging to control brush radius holding down the Q key to control this squishing, left clicking and dragging to control that, and so on and so forth. There are, again, unique keyboard shortcuts for working with several of these tools. So let's go ahead and move on from the heads up display and talk a little bit about general navigation and how we're controlling that here. I want to come up to the edit menu for a moment and down here to preferences. Now once this preferences dialog opens, let's jump over to the navigation tab. And I want to point your attention to this control type. By default, this will be set to Mari, which to be honest, I never change this. Uh, however, we can actually change this over to any of these, uh, these packages and the control type will adjust to mimic that package. Now it just so happens that Mari and Maya are so similar, I just never change this, but if you prefer to, you can go ahead and assign Maya to the control type. I'll leave that set at Mari for the time being. Now, keyboard shortcuts inside of Mari, there's a ton of them. You can use the ones that ship with Mari out of the box, and you even have the ability to create your own custom keyboard shortcuts for things that you do quite often. Now, we can manage our keyboard shortcuts inside of Mari under the Edit menu if we come down here to Shortcuts. This is going to open up this Manage Keyboard Shortcuts dialog, and this is something that even today I still reference when I forget a keyboard shortcut for something, or if I want to assign a keyboard shortcut to something that doesn't have one. So we can come in here, and we can either look up a keyboard shortcut by typing in a letter or the shortcut right here in this bar. Let's just type in the keyboard shortcut S. You can see here instantly this area comes to life, points us at the select tool right here where the S key is assigned as a keyboard shortcut. Now if we don't know a keyboard shortcut and we're trying to find one, we can come up here to this search actions bar and we can type out the action that we're looking for. Let's maybe look for squish. And there we go. It's picked up on the first instance of the word squish. Adjust squish, adjust squish. This is for on-screen controls. Again, those are related to several tools actually, the brush tool being one of them we just looked at. But again, these are like the radius, the squish, the opacity, and the rotation. These are basic brush engine tool or brush engine centric tool controls. So you can begin to expand these out if you'd like and begin to explore some of this particular dialog. There is a lot here, admittedly, but if you come in here and know exactly what it is you're looking for, maybe it's a tool that you want to assign a different keyboard shortcut to, you can come in here and find exactly what it is very, very quickly. Here's all those tools that we saw over here inside the toolbar. All right, great. So that's going to bring this clip focused on navigation and keyboard shortcuts to a close and actually move us into our next module where we're going to start learning about Mari shaders, channels, and painting textures.